This is The Perfect Being. I'm here to tell you all to subscribe to The Perfect Channel, Unreal End Gaming. Please remember to turn on your notifications to be the first to know about the latest in Dragon Ball news and information. And if you don't, very soon you will all be dead! Along with your entire planet. The evil emperor of Universe 7 has finally returned, only to encounter an obstacle placed in front of him, courtesy of Universe 9's God of Destruction, Sidra, and sending an army of assassins to destroy Frieza. But with Goku there willing to back Frieza up, the two engage the army head on, as for the very first time in history, we witness Frieza and Son Goku working together to fight for a common cause. What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome to my Dragon. Dragon Ball Super Episode 95 review entitled The Worst, The Most Evil, Frieza's Rampage leading into next week's exciting episode of Dragon Ball Super Episode 96 in which we will finally begin to head out to the World of Void to begin the Tournament of Power, in which this was a very highly requested episode from many fans within the community just because of seeing Golden Frieza return since the glory days of ROF and seeing him in combat. But a quick plug before we begin, if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button for more news information updates and of course discussions alongside gameplay reviews for all forms of dragon ball content and make sure to also go on ahead and punch that bell icon that way you guys are always notified whenever a dragon ball video is posted onto this channel as i will be covering various dragon ball topics throughout the coming weeks and of course if you guys are not following me at twitter be sure to go on ahead and head over to twitter and follow me at unreal and gaming to be up to date with all that is in dragon ball news information and updates and i thank you guys for your overwhelming support on the channel as it does go a long way so if you guys are new be sure to go on ahead turn on notifications hashtag notification squad to be up to date with all that is in dragon ball dragon ball super episode 95 is now officially in the history books and seeing golden frieza in action i think at least was one of the most suiting things to see because we haven't seen frieza pretty much use this form ever since he fought son goku in resurrection f of course those times have now changed and now we have the universe nine assassins in pursuit of frieza in one Wanting him destroyed. So we start the episode off exactly where we left off with Frieza having to embrace the assassins on even being there. And we saw the dog person that he shot down in the water, and it turns out that he was actually alive. He was grasping onto his shoulder. But Goku realized that these assassins are not from universe number seven. And the fact that Goku has figured out that these guys are from another universe, and they brag about how hardcore their universe is. And Frieza is very glad to hear that these fighters come from a quote unquote difficult and tough universe because the entire time that he was down there in hell, we get to see a recap of how he was being tortured by all the teddy bears and stuff, and we see him begin to power up, and I think that Frieza in this episode displayed raw, unmitigated power. I mean, it's pretty cool to see Frieza on the offensive this time, and I will say, the first time he powered up with all the golden aura around him, even Goku himself was very, very shocked and surprised as to how powerful Frieza is, and once Frieza rushed in and he started attacking these assassins these assassins realized that they were screwed why because they were trying to get away and frieza was shooting these beams out of his fingers and these beams were following the assassins and frieza went on a massive genocide spree he legitimately tortured and hunted down everybody by himself even to the point where goku's like stop don't do this frieza was gathering bodies he was piling up bodies on his number and you have to respect that from frieza because that's the type of character that he is and even as Goku is telling him enough we cannot do this we have no time to waste Goku wants Frieza to stop killing people but he figures he might as well you know go on ahead and take them down now before the tournament so he wants to go on ahead and vent his frustrations before he gets to the actual tournament and the fact that Frieza calls his new and improved self the true golden Frieza which I truly love because now Frieza has improved his golden form so much that he now says okay this is who I really am this is my new power and and the fact that Frieza was touching each of the assassins on the forehead with his finger and causing them to blow up says a lot. And even though Frieza, as many would assume, would be relatively weaker than how he was before, I would have to beg to differ because here we see the level of frustration that Frieza has within him after being in hell for so long, and he's venting that on the assassins. Goku, on the other hand, he's kicking people, he's punching people, but he's not killing them until he steps in front of Frieza and he's telling him, listen, you need to relax, you need to stop this because this is getting out of hand. And clearly it is 
is clearly you can tell because of the idea that Frieza is just venting all of his hate for Goku after being down there and whatnot. But we get to see a bit of a recap as Cedra hands over one of the dog assassins, you know, like this energy ball. And that was the same exact energy ball that we saw in the teaser because a lot of us were assuming that maybe Frieza was going to get killed off or whatnot. But the very person that, you know, was shot down by Frieza, he begins to, you know, pretty much harness that energy ball, but he doesn't want to get noticed. And all of a sudden, Frieza turns around and he spots him. And as he spots him, that's when things get ugly because Cedra gave the dog guy some sort of like destruction like energy ball in the idea that it was supposed to be used in order to fully destroy Frieza before the tournament of power actually begins. That was the entire plot. So we get to see how right then and there, I mean, this entire thing was orchestrated because as we see the dog guy try to unleash this blast upon Frieza, and it was at that moment that he finally threw the blast at Frieza, and we see how he pretty much outmaneuvers Frieza, and he counters the first one, but at that very point, he shoots away the very blast that was in his hand. So this dog guy, I mean, I, he, he was fodder. He was fodder the entire time. I did not like him, but of course, he had a plot, and he raised his hand up in the air, and that was when Frieza was trying to deflect the blast, and, and the realization that this move comes from a Hakaishin. So we see Frieza struggling, and he was trying to, you know, deflect the blast away because we realized right then and there that if this blast were to fully engulf Frieza, he would have been destroyed. And what's cool about this is we see Frieza struggling against this blast, and that is something that I truly enjoyed because it wasn't something that, you know, I wanted to see see Frieza completely destroy, but at a certain point, we see how the blast begins to engulf Frieza, and Frieza is in pain, he's screaming, but then, then we see Frieza as he's screaming, as he's in, engulfed in this entire blast, he begins to say, you know, uh, this destruction energy cannot deflect me, because then, Frieza begins to power up, and what's crazy about this is, I just realized that Frieza survived an attack from a Hakaishin. Like, how is that even remotely possible? It's just like, Frieza? Really? And he took the blast, and he condensed it, and then what he did from there was he enlarged the energy ball. And I loved how Frieza struggled, but I did not like how a move from a Hakaishin was able to be negated and deflected by Frieza. Although, you have to give Frieza credit for being, you know, stronger than how he was before. He finally took all the energy that Cedra threw at him in the form of that ball due to the dog guy and he he condensed it right back to where he was and then he held on to it and then right then and there without even wasting any more time he held the ball and he shot the dog guy in the chest and i love how frieza was kind of out of breath because this this took a lot of energy to go ahead and condense and goku was shocked so i will say in my opinion based on what i saw frieza in this episode i think is much more powerful than how we saw in rof that goes without question whether whether or not you guys agree or disagree those are the facts because of what we saw in this episode based on negating a god of destruction's attack but this is what i find interesting in the fact that goku is actually quite surprised and he asks frieza like what is this and frieza having to say this is pure energy energy from a god possibly probably a god of destruction and goku tells the assassins that universe 7 won't run or they won't hide they'll settle things in the tournament of power but these assassins aren't really having it but i love the engagement between goku and frieza because even though even though they're arch nemesis and they're both rivals we see how just for a moment they're actually getting along and goku asking him questions and frieza having to respond back without being such an asshole until of course he gives goku the attack and Frieza advised Goku to break free of the destruction energy and saying I was able to do it after all why can't you so Goku's being engulfed and you know later on Goku tries he's trying to pretty much separate himself from the blast and Frieza says it looks like it's no use for you I guess I've gotten too strong so Frieza very low-key is like laughing at Goku in the idea that Goku was having a very hard time in trying to escape the actual blast but yo I have to say the Omni Kings in this episode were were hilarious because they're the first ones at the tournament of power they're the first ones at the world of void and they're rolling around the ring and the daishenkan says it is now finished this is the tournament of power this is the ring and the omni kings are having a good time they're rolling around 
and it was a moment to where you already know like they're cute and cuddly and they're playful and they want to have a good time and they are but on the other hand everyone else is struggling and then going back to Goku he's still struggling and Frieza's laughing at him and I love the idea that as Goku was trapped in that blast Frieza teleports over to the assassins and he begins to torture one of the assassins he shoots him in the leg and he starts to shoot him all throughout the body and this poor assassin is just there because Frieza is known for this this is classic Frieza and I love this about him he shoots him in the arm he shoots him in the ribs he shoots him in the leg Frieza does not care but is that going to be Frieza's downfall in the tournament of power that's the question because if it is then he's gonna get disqualified you can't shoot people you can't go on ahead and torture people I mean maybe you can torture people but you can't really kill them and that was what he was doing so all of these assassins they tried to bum rush Frieza and, and they, they all got foddered they all got foddered and this was an entire fodder episode everyone got foddered and what's cool about this is the idea that Cedra and Ro are watching this and Cedra and Ro are wondering what's taking the assassins so long and they check in and they see Frieza and he's in line with no one other at hand we see Frieza standing there and he begins to talk to Cedra and, and universe number nine and saying hello universe number nine and what's crazy is Cedra's like all right I want you on my team and Goku's still trapped in this giant like energy like sphere he's trapped he can't do nothing and as he's talking to Cedra I don't know what he was holding I swear to god it looked like either some sort of like a ball or something but Frieza was talking to Cedra and again you guys can go on ahead and check out the subversions on crunchyroll.com if you guys want to understand more that's exactly what I'm gonna do we see Frieza talking and it looks like Frieza was very very deceptive during that conversation even though I'm pretty sure that once Cedra asked him to join something must have occurred to where either he accepted or, or actually rejected the idea either way the way he was pointing it out the way he was speaking to Cedra I think something is definitely brewing I don't trust Frieza entirely and yes he is going to be a part of universe number seven but the entire time that Goku was engulfed in the energy ball he was very very maniacal in the way he spoke but even then it took Beerus to show up and, and literally blow away the energy destruction fear that that was around Goku and I thought that was pretty cool in the idea that it took Beerus to pretty much save Goku from that entire you know engulfing of like the energy ball but we see Beerus talk to Frieza and Beerus Beerus actually showed up right behind Frieza and I, I, I personally love this. I, I love this because Beerus asks where that destruction energy came from and Frieza is teaming up with another universe because you know he, he was pretty much very condescending about this because he asked Frieza where did that come from because it's made of pure energy so something is brewing with Frieza. I think that maybe at some given point he might jump the gun. Meanwhile Frieza continues to plot and he'll be the one to get the last laugh at Goku as we've seen before because judging based on what's going on now once Beerus asked him like all right where was it from like where did it come from he was very hesitant in even giving him an answer but by the end of it what I love the most is the idea that we saw Frieza and Goku spar so again this was this was a tremendously well done episode I mean I personally enjoyed the idea that Frieza just cannot be trusted and we even see Beerus in saying can we trust this guy so I'm telling you all right now in this review you that something is going to happen with Frieza you cannot possibly trust this guy based on his demeanor based on the way he carried himself with Beerus he didn't show any fear with Beerus as he was talking to him so by the end of this I think Frieza is going to cost the team something big time but nevertheless Super Saiyan Blue Goku Golden Frieza they battled it out and momentarily for like the moment like it was there it was incredible however I do not like the idea that we see Frieza kind of keeping up with Goku at this point because Goku has gotten so freaking strong by, by, by the long run in fighting Universe 6 fighters and stuff. It was incredible, but you have to give props for Frieza. I loved this episode, and I'm pretty sure you guys did as well. But I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What are your overall thoughts on Golden Frieza in this episode? What are your overall thoughts on Son Goku and the actions he made in this episode? What are your overall thoughts as to how the episode played off? Do you guys think that the assassins were a bit too easy? 
cheesy, sort of like pushovers having to be seen in this episode, or do you think it was more than fitting, especially now having to set up in what's going to happen within the Tournament of Power, starring Jiren, the Pride Troopers, Topo, Dispo, Hit, Kale, Khalifa, Kaba, you name it, they got it. So post your comments down below, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, if you guys are hyped for Dragon Ball Super Episode 96, go on ahead and slap a like on the video. If you guys are new to this channel, feel free to go on ahead and subscribe for more Dragon Ball news, information, and updates alongside discussions and reviews. Thank you all for watching. Tune back in for the breakdown review, and I'll be seeing you all down the comment section below. Have a great night, guys. Peace.